In this video, we discuss the ultrasound imaging of a patient with a submandibular duct or a Wharton duct calculus. The submandibular duct or Wharton duct is the tube that carries saliva from the submandibular gland to the mouth. It is located under the tongue and runs along the floor of the mouth. In this case, the ultrasound shows a submandibular duct calculus, also known as a Wharton's duct calculus of 8 mm diameter. This is large enough to cause obstruction of the Wharton's duct and produce symptoms. The calculus appears as a bright echogenic area with a dark acoustic shadow posterior to it. This indicates the high density and acoustic impedance of the Wharton's duct calculus. Color Doppler ultrasound shows increased vascularity of the gland which means there is more blood flow to the inflamed salivary gland tissue. Ultrasound also shows obstructive changes in the gland such as, such as dilation of the duct, enlargement of the gland and an accumulation of fluid or pus within the gland. Here we see the Wharton's duct calculus lodged in the proximal part of the Wharton's duct. The prognosis and management of such a case depends on several factors such as the size and location of the calculus, the severity and frequency of the symptoms, the presence and extent of infection, and the patient's general preference and general health. Further imaging, including CT scan, may help confirm the diagnosis. Observe the dilated proximal part of the Wharton's duct due to obstruction. Some possible treatment options and procedures include conservative measures such as hydration, massage, heat, antibiotics and silagogues or substances that stimulate salivary production. These may help relieve symptoms and produce spontaneous expulsion of the calculus. Therapeutic sial endoscopy, which is a minimally invasive procedure, uses a thin flexible tube with a camera and instruments to enter the duct and remove the calculus. In some cases, ESWL or extracorporeal shock wave, wave lithotripsy which is a non-invasive procedure, uses high-energy sound waves to break up the calculus into smaller pieces that can be passed out with saliva. Transoral surgery may also be done to remove the calculus from the duct.